Welcome to the Fab Four Travel Talk Podcast with Christy, Gina, Eric, and Kyle. Now, sit back and relax. Let's chat about some magical destinations. All right, well, Eric, so that's how you can tell which is your drink and which is your bread okay. plate. Good. Focus. Got it. Okay. <laughs> bread right. and drink. Got it. Hey there, and welcome to another episode of Fab Four Travel Talk. I'm Christy, and this is take two. <laughs> hey, I didn't count you down. <laughs> You're right. I just went for it. <laughs> you did. You did a great job. Cool. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> He's playing with the clapper back there. All right. I'm Christy, and Wake I'm your up. host this evening. We know you are. You and, already said that. And Hi. with me tonight, <laughs> I have Kyle, birthday boy Kyle. Hi, everybody. <laughs> and Gina. Hello. And Eric. Hi. Who is causing all sorts of havoc tonight, which is why we are on take two. Nope. Right? Not my fault. Because Eric yes. can't behave. So good luck to us all. Right? God yes. bless us, everyone. <laughs> Tiny Tim. Tiny Tim. Tiny Tim. <laughs> <laughs> We're all right. right. So tonight we are actually going to talk about some news that's happening at Walt Disney World. And without even realizing it, all the news that I came across came from Hollywood Studios. A so lot's I'm, going on. Yeah, we're gonna and I'm fun. super happy about this because what it really means is Disney's listening. Right? Right? Because yeah. everything right. we complained about last week right. has changed. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much right after we posted it. So they're listening to us is what you're saying. Oh, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, we kind of knew that, but yeah. You know what right. that means? Atlantis land is right around the corner. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Some things they Some things are not gonna happen. Yeah. You know that intern in imagine <laughs> intern in imagineering is working on that somewhere. Right. Yeah. It's, going, it's, in, it's in a drawer. He's he's working on it, but it's a circular file actually. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> um so the first thing we want to talk about is based on what happened on our podcast last week, we talked about the horrible tears at Hollywood Studios. Right. And in one felt swoop they solved that problem. They, and they fixed it all. And they fixed it. Not just about the shows anymore. Yeah. Which is great. Thank goodness. Right? So now we have a fast pass for Smuggler's Run, Millennium Falcon, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and Slinky Dog Dash. And right. those are tier one. Ones. Mm-hmm. Everything else is tier two. Thank yeah. goodness. Great. Yeah. Right? <sighs> Finally, oh, wait, the world wait, 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 opens. Wait, wait. Everything else is still tier two? Yeah. Yeah. I thought, Everything is tier two. I thought two. Tower and the other stuff was. Nope. nope. It's just Slinky Dog Dash and Excellent. Uh, okay. Run. Which is the way awesome. it should be. So you have Rise of the you Resistance. Know? Yep. The Tier 1. Yep. And then the Tier 2. So yeah. then everything else. Three and tiers. You yep. do. and But you can do all three tiers. That's the great Better, thing about yeah. it. Yeah. is yeah. Because of how they're doing Rise of the Resistance, mm-hmm. you can do that. And you get your Fast Passes, one with Tier 1 and two with Tier 2. So you've now really got a lot going on in Hollywood studios. Sell it, Gina. I wonder yeah. if when Runaway Railroad opens, mm-hmm. why is that so hard to say? Runaway because Railway. Because it comes across Railway. like Runaway Railway. Runaway <laughs> Railway. Yeah, it's really, it's a tough For everyone it's who was listening word. before, that's how we do it. Runaway <laughs> Railway. So when it opens, I wonder if they will then bump Sleeky Dog down. If, it would be nice if it was a revolving mm. kind of thing as new things open. So yeah, I had a little bit of insider information on that. Ooh. Um, and Do so tell. when it first opens, it's going to be tier one and there'll be Millennium Falcon, Slinky Dog and Runaway Railway. Oh, okay. But and probably then, not for long, right? Uh, it depends on how they're yeah. doing because the, what they do yeah. is based on the wait times. Right. Mm-hmm. And those are the biggest mm-hmm. attractions. And that's going to be the case for Runaway wha- Runaway Railway. <laughs> the way away, the way away. It's <laughs> such a hard word to say. It is. Especially with Runaway. Have... And the... Yeah. <clears throat> it's like MMRR. It sounds like a shot if we try to like. Right. And then your MMR shot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm with you, Christy. I'm with you, Christy. It's like, it's hard. And then the vaccine. <laughs> um, yeah. So I think. We'll probably see it like that for a while, but I love okay. the fact now that, you know, cause you'd never needed a fast pass for, even though I loved it, you didn't need a fast pass for frozen sing along. No. So that, that was a waste. And even Beauty and the Beast, which is hugely pos- popular, has a huge theater and it's offered money times a day. Right. You don't need a fast pass for that either. Mm-mm. Yep. 
So I was loving that. And it, it happened the day after <laughs> you published the yeah. Yeah. Thing. Like, I was like, hey, by the way, that's already outdated. Yep. Exactly. Everything you like, said last week is a lie. <laughs> it's a lie. <laughs> but, that's, but it does. It means Disney's listening. So we appreciate you guys listening to us and taking our advice to heart. It means we have a mole because it got, you know, they, they heard our podcast before it was actually released. Right? Yeah. Maybe it's Somebody's Bugsy. A leak. Maybe Bugsy's leaking to them. A little, micro, it's got a little micro, microchip in them. <laughs> it's transmitting back. Yeah, or their podcat. Podcat yeah. could be podcat. Could be yeah, likely. He's, yeah. he's, he's a cat. He could be a secret spy for yeah, sure. Right. He's a cat. He hides all those secrets in his belly. <laughs> Very big. So, <laughs> next story. <laughs> Sorry. So you you mentioned Rise of the Resistance. So this came out. This information came out today that they've changed again slightly how they're handling. The um, they're tweaking. Yeah, the the, the rise groups? of the resistance. Mm. They're confusing. I mean, tweaking. now what are they doing? So now what they're doing is when you get into the park, and you have to be in the park still to get mm-hmm. your um, boarding passes. Mm-hmm. But basically, rather than getting a boarding number, they're giving you a boarding time. So Which rather is than great, it's, yeah, because it, it gives, gives you more able, idea. Yeah, and mm-hmm. you can plan your day a little better. However, I wonder what happens if the ride goes down. It was the first thing I said when we were talking about it earlier. Yeah. Because, yeah. hey, come back at two. Okay, here, I'm here at two. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. You're going to have to wait, you know, like two hours because the ride went down and all those people are still in line. Right. I bet this is the beauty of having it in the My Disney Experience app. I bet they can send out notifications if mm, you have notifications probably. turned on. Yeah. Uh, they can update at least, you know, most people that way, I would think. Well, you would think they would have done it the old way with a boarding group because we got a boarding group, like boarding group 20, but yet it never opened. So it was down at the very beginning of the day. So yeah. all of a sudden, you know, you had no idea when the ride was starting back up again, mm-hmm. all of a sudden they started calling boarding groups. So it would have been nice if they would have used that feature even then to say, Hey, the ride's down. Blah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. When I, when I, I was in line for it, um, it went down while we were in line. And the mm-hmm. only way we knew that happened was they started bringing snacks. Like okay. all of a sudden there was like a cast member with bananas and apples, which was so <laughs> random. So they yeah. didn't evacuate the queue. They just brought snacks. Nope. Wow. And then it was like a continual snack thing for like wow. several rounds. They had to bring in like chocolate cake at one point. Oh my gosh. Pretzels. Um, all, I mean, it was the weirdest thing. And like, I got like those little apples, like the apple slices. Mm-hmm. And that was the first thing. So I was like, yeah, I'll have that. Thank you. And then they came by with popcorn. I'm like, but I, but I. Wait, I, let's I, set expectations correct. Right. Cause this was for a special event though, right? No, this was no, actually, was just on this a was with my dad and my sister and yeah. I. So why um, didn't you take the popcorn? Like oh, I did eventually. Because they oh, kept okay. coming back. Like, literally, they kept coming back with it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, this was not a special event. Hide this the apples the and get the popcorn. Right. Apples or yeah. apples? I didn't get any apples. And yeah, exactly. <laughs> drinks. Well, the funny part was my dad said, okay, they're bringing all this food. How do we go to the bathroom? And yeah. then, like, I don't know, 45 minutes later, they were like, who needs a potty break? So they were escorting people out to the bathroom, which is right near where the ride actually gets started. Uh-huh. And they shoving you in the bathroom and then you can go back in line. Like it was like shoving you in the bathroom. Here. Get in there. there. It was crazy, but it was funny. (laughs) Meanwhile, you need a fast pass for the toilet. Yeah. Right. Right. Did you beep in? No. Okay. Well, you got 20 minute wait. So stand there and hold (laughs) on. Yeah. Um, I so I read in a group um this afternoon, and again, this is complete conjecture because I have no idea if this is actually true or not. Mm-hmm. But they said that one of the reasons they made this change now is that the ride has become much more stable. Oh, they're yeah. not having it drop mm. out like it was. Yeah, well, that's good news. Yeah, because that was that was concerning. That'll be it'll be yeah. to be seen if that's really what's happening. Because mm-hmm. I, I, like I said, I that's not something I know for sure, but yeah, it makes sense because if now if they can better accurately determine how long it's going to take, then you give people windows. Software update, you know. Right. Patch. Maybe. Yep. Patch Tuesday. Could be. And they may have figured oh, out, God. like, now that Disneyland's open, by the time they open Disneyland, maybe they solve some of the software issues they were having. No, nope, it crashed the first day, too. 
Yeah, yeah that's several true. times for, a, right. for actually for, yeah. a, for a, oh, a good that's... time. Yeah. I think yeah. part of that of you think it's software driven the crashing, or you think it's like hardware manufacturing? From, from the rumors functions? I've heard, it's software. The really? It's, yeah, but who knows? It's speculation. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. That's true. It's almost always um, just speculation because they're not talking about it. Exactly. At least they're not telling anybody. Exactly. But you know what's funny is, and I think we talked about this in the podcast, but the they made such a big deal about it being such a technologically advanced traction and whatever, and we all kind of like where um, parts of it certainly are in the sure. experiences. It, yeah, unlike anything else. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. But the actual mechanics of the ride piece reminded me of the penguin ride over at SeaWorld. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I'm like, that thing never goes down. Right. Like, that thing uh, is. That's like, not true. Really? Oh, yeah. We were in line one day and it did. I don't remember yep. that at all. Yep. Remember, well, the, we, they evacuated the line on us. We ended up, we were like just about to get in and they booted like... us out. But it's like so Ratatouille, it yeah. which they have in France, you mm-hmm. know, that they use. So it's not like that That piece of it is not brand new technology. What? What are you laughing about? No, I'm just thinking we were talking about rumors and speculations and all that kind of stuff. I remember I told you the story where I heard some guy saying, oh, yeah, the ride, the cars communicate with each other over Wi-Fi. And I'm like, yeah, like they're going to, oh, yeah. like they're going to, A, base it on a commodity-based standard and B, right. they're going to tell everybody that, sure, it's based on Wi-Fi. So some hat comes in with a Wi-Fi jammer and goes, ride goes yep. down. Yeah, right. Down. <laughs> right. <laughs> or even worse than that, figures out how to hack into one of the well, cars yeah, and like too. starts driving people oh, around everywhere, yeah, smashing absolutely. them into things. Yeah. 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 That's not <laughs> fun. That's not what they're doing. Go driving right to those at AT AT. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 That'd ridiculous. be fun. Anyway, we digress. We did. We totally digress. Do you know that there's a site you can go to that shows you how up and down yeah. the rides are? So you can like go and look and see you how long. Like, yeah, like everything. graphs and stuff. Oh, wow. Well. Really? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Time over duration type. I don't know what it is off the top of my head, but we can share it at some well, point. That was helpful. Yeah. At least we know it exists. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there's a website. <laughs> Google it. I was going to tell him something <laughs> the other day about there's a website that you can go to that gives you information about other websites. <laughs> and I'm like trying to tell him, he's looking at me like, <laughs> What? <laughs> And then you knew what I was talking about. Though. I knew exactly what it was once you like got over that first hurdle of what you're yeah. trying to explain. There's a website that there's a site that it does. It, it lists who owns the website. I was like, yeah, who is? She's like, yeah. I was like, yeah, that's the website. Yeah. Oh, okay. Went back doing their thing. It's like <laughs> it's been around since before there was a web. Right. <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, was I just that a, discovered uh, it. A call that you yeah. would type in. Yeah. Oh, okay, who is? Oh, I think I remember that. Could you do yeah. that in DOS? It's a protocol. Yes, you could do that. In oh, DOS. do y'all remember it's, DOS? It's actually yeah. a protocol. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember my original Apple IIc computer. My dad had one of those. Yeah. And I loved the buttons, like the keyboards on yeah. them. The actual clicky keyboard. Yeah, yeah I would love to have one like that. Oh, instead of the terrible the, keyboards now. Yeah. Right, and the, where there's like deep indentions for your fingers. Mm-hmm. I love yep. that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's one thing I don't like about my MacBook. It's yeah. just the Here keyboard, and then I bought the. Ex- what? You got the. You got to get the adapter keyboard. <laughs> I did. I got. Get, yeah. But the adapter well keyboard's was. worse. Hmm. It's just one of those things. Like it doesn't have that beautiful click. Yep. Right. Well, you need. They sell mechanical keyboards. You can buy they them, do. but they're like they're like a hundred bucks. Mm, I know. Sure. What's up with that? We went and looked at them, and yep. I was like, Think they're gaming keyboards. Well, not necessarily. Yeah. I mean, they they are. They right. are those, those those models, but you have to think about it. But a mechanical they're keyboard is expensive. It's got moving parts in it. Lots right. of not, moving parts. Not like the new ones that you can get for six dollars because there's exactly. not a single moving part in them. It's exactly. all just a PC board. Do they work mm-hmm. with Macs though? Yes, it's just a USB keyboard. Oh. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Even the wireless right. ones do. Mm-hmm. And you can get them where they like are certain zones or certain colors. Mm-hmm. And stuff. Welcome to this week. Then and they have online. like the right? like the, Didn't the know this numerical was be tech keyboard talk. on the right side, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. oh, exactly. I love bring that. Back tech I do too, right? Right. I, I used to did. tin key like really quickly. Yes. I could do that. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. When I'm doing commissions, I would love that. Do oh we, yeah, that would be cool. Do we even bother going down the path of letting them know there's a website you can go to to see if other websites are actually still running? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, please. Let's, okay. just, let's just cut this off. Skip, out. skip over if that. Other one. websites okay. are still running. Yep. Wait, right, I didn't know that. What's that? Is it down? Who working? Oh, no, is it's it just, down? Is it down? Who working? <laughs> Who working dot com? I bet yeah. that's a website too, but I, I don't know. It's all you save keystrokes there. Right. Instead of who is working? Yeah. Who working? Who working? <laughs> 
Must be a okay. Unix guy. Let's get back on the runaway railway. <laughs> um, well, so I bet we just sold on. some keyboards. Hold on, let saying. me settle in here. Let me know when we get back to it. <laughs> okay. We're getting back to the Hollywood Studios. Okay. Um, Another new Muppets item. Three, Muppet Vision Muppets? 3D. What's a Muppet? Stop it. Stop. Did a Muppet, did Stop. A Muppet go on the way One away railway. One away railway is over with a Muppet. <laughs> Um, anyway, it went down Muppus. for refurb. And one of the things I was thinking about when I was looking at that they is... They really refurb it. Well, that's the thing, right? I read what they actually are doing. And oh, you did? it's going to be much of anything because it's, it's only down for like a week. It's Well, it went down yesterday <laughs> on January weeks, 26th. Right? And it's back on February 9th. So yeah. it's not so a big one. Yeah. Basically, they're vacuuming. <laughs> right. You know, maybe scrap, popcorn. Maybe yeah. scraping some gum off the chairs. <laughs> but it made me hopeful that they were going to do something good, like a new movie. Because that a new movie been would be, yeah, right. It would be okay if they left the theater exactly the way it was mm-hmm. and just threw a new movie in. Yeah, and just exactly. made it work with everything that's already there the right. way it is. But we just totally update could. the movie. Yeah, update the movie. But then my other thought was, I would really love Muppet Meet and Greets. Oh yeah, that that'd be, be fun, fun. Yeah. right? And they already have that big guy. What's his name? Yeah, because he runs out. He the runs around the show. Fluffy? It's fluffy. not fluffy. No, no, it's not, and it's not Snuffleupagus either. So it's no. not Sully. I should know this. Anyway, my God, it's like the big guy with the orange nose. Right? Yeah, his name's Sally or something weird like that. Not Sully, but not Sally. You're not Sully. It's not Sally. All right, John. I'm looking it up. I'm just going to look it up. I'm looking it up. You go. Hey, um, there's a site you can go is? to to put in stuff. It's called, right. Google. It's called Google. Right? <laughs> it tells you other stuff. Right. May or may not be correct. But, oh, my God. Anyway, yeah. so they're refurbing the, the Muppets 3D. Yeah. They're putting in new seats. Oh. Oh, okay. And a new curtain. Okay. And I'm All sure right. vacuuming. Because that's what it needed. Yeah. I but mean, new seats, I can live. New seats, new seats are, are good. Yeah, new seats, new seats are always are good. good. But I was that's thinking... Exchange out those seats. Hmm? Yeah, so bolt them yeah. down. Unbolt yeah, the old ones, so. bolt in some new ones. Yeah. Maybe I'll have smell a vision with it. Sweetums. 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 There you go. Yes. For those playing along, if you Google Big Muppet, it's the first thing that comes back. <laughs> <laughs> Sweetums. Big, Sweetums. Big there Muppet. You go. Yes, exactly. There you go. There you go. Funny. Thank you, Google. <laughs> Cool. Thank you, Google. All right. Um, so, yeah, that's happening. That was really creepy. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. So, you think they take all the seats out first and then they vacuum? Well, I that's so. the logical yeah. thing. Right. Maybe they even shampoo the carpets. So, that's actually one of those like 4D rides where it's got the stuff that spra- well, plays, sprays you and splashes you and stuff, right? It's mm-hmm. a show. Mm-hmm. So, I wonder if they're going to be updating all that if they're putting new seats in and stuff. They're probably doing that. Well, the movie is not changing, though, so... Right, but they're probably putting new systems in if they're putting new seats in. Oh, to splash you out. Oh, yeah. to splash you, yeah. yeah. Maybe ones that work a little better. I don't remember better. there being any smells, though. Mm. Yeah, I don't... There's no smell no. there. I, right. could, I could add smells. <laughs> they could. They? they should. Yeah. I mean, usually the people next to you do that, so you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> oh, it's true. Yeah. Especially, Especially in the summer. In the summer. Oh, yeah. Don't let me hang <laughs> So that led me, that's kind of just the news that, that's going on right now. But then the kind of, I wanted to kind of spend a little bit of time just daydreaming about a problem that Hollywood Studios has and see if we can fix it since Disney's listening. Okay, good. I figured we've talked A before. problem? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. just, just one. One specific one. We don't have Let's all work night. With, work with one. <laughs> right. Yeah. And they're not paying us to do this. So we really shouldn't right. give away all our ideas. Yes. True. true. Um, right. But they know, start you- paying us. You never know. Universal might want them one day. Our ideas? Ooh. Yeah. Mm. I think we'd have to talk about them first, them but you other. know. You hey, I'm not above selling out. <laughs> the way you think. Whoever's paying. We got kids right. in college or kid That's in college right. and you've got two right. going too. So yeah. it's, not, it's not selling out. It's buying in. Yeah. It's buying in. Buying there in. you go. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 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 so anyway, the problem we're trying to solve tonight at Hollywood Studios mm-hmm. is a lack of food options. Amen, sister. Right? Yeah. So mm, I don't know. They had the brown derby. I'm happy with that. That's a two credit. Oh. Yeah. We need, which is good if you have the deluxe dining plan every time you go, like you're going to do from now on. Right. right? It's really good <laughs> if you want a really tiny grilled cheese. 
<laughs> if you're looking for little food, that's the place gotcha. to go. Gotcha. Okay. No, little food. Go to the little, little bar outside. That's, that's true. Where you, go. you get a Bloody Mary that has all the little sandwiches. Yeah, and... exactly. Or you can be like Christy and order the tomato soup with croutons. And grilled cheese. Yeah, the croutons. No, yeah. no, no, it was tomato soup and grilled cheese. And grilled cheese. That's right. But it was really the size of a crouton. Yeah. And the lady, remember the waitress leaned over to me and was like, just so you know, it's a really small grilled cheese. And I was like, mm-hmm. okay. No, it's not. It's a crouton with You've a piece warned. of cheese on it. <laughs> I was like, and I don't mean like a slice of cheese. I mean like, you know, great cheese and then pick up one piece and put it on a crouton. Because that's all that would fit. Because that's right. all that would fit. Yeah. It's like about the same size you'd put on a mouse trap. Yeah. Same size cheese. Anyway. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So let's okay. Let's, what kind of food okay. do we want? What kind of experience would fit in with Hollywood Studios? What are we thinking? Hmm. Are we just going to talk about table service or are we going to talk about quick too? We could add anything because it needs yeah. a lot. It does. Yeah. It, needs, it needs some air-conditioned indoor quick service options. Yes. Besides, I say take ABC commissary and turn that into a table service. Really? So what kind of table service would you put there? Something good. Um, wow, this have, is going to be a long discussion. You have a table service right around the corner from there already. In sci-fi. sci-fi. Yeah. Right. yeah. I said so you probably something good. <laughs> this is going to take a long time. <laughs> well, no, but so, the, to your point. That, sci-fi, great theming, not awesome. Yeah. 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 Right. I um. So it would be fun to see a uh, Star Wars, like you know, meet and greet kind of um, character. And that's big enough that you could do a big, mm-hmm. huge meet and greet and they could theme it Star Wars-ish. It's not too far from Galaxy's Edge and on Star Tours. Mm-hmm. So well, why, why not just put what? one in there? They've got huh? room. They could just put one in Galaxy's Edge. Like a nice sit down. They could do that. There's room is there space there? there? Sure. Yeah, there's some in my mind there is space. If, and Kyle, you probably could pull <laughs> yeah. that up, that aerial view. Yeah, there's I don't supposedly... know how much space is actually in Galaxy's Edge. To be well, with they you. they absolutely need Maybe a Star a Wars bit. character yeah. dining experience. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or if they're going to do the whole barbecue thing, not or, but and yeah. if they're doing the whole barbecue thing in um, Toy Story, Toy Story, thank you. Later. That should be character meet and greet too. Oh, well, that is. That is. Yeah. It is? Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Going to be. Yeah. I yeah. see. I didn't remember that. Sorry. Um, yeah. no, back to well, good. Quickly. I'm glad the they listened edge. to me. There is a little space, but they're not going to use it for food. Mm. No. no. No? What do you think they're going to use it for? In a, another attraction. You think? Yeah. Give them f- five or six years, and they'll put another attraction, in, and then it'll be done. Mm. Unless they really make a big expansion, but I, I think Star Wars will be played out by then. Played out. I said it. I was yep. like, I said it. I don't think that's. <laughs> uh, if they're not mm-hmm. careful with it, it could go. It could go that route. Yeah. I'm being a little bit serious, but you know. Eh. The interesting thing is, there's room in Walt Disney World, but there's not room in Disneyland. Yes. So now mm-hmm. they're not just because they're identical now doesn't mean they're going to stay that way, True. right? True. But so the one thing that Hollywood Studios needs is a Jackrabbit Slims. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Do you remember Jackrabbit Slims from Pulp Fiction? Remember the restaurant in Pulp Fiction, Kyle? Ah, uh, yes, sort of. Yes. So, so in the movie Pulp Fiction, there's a restaurant they go to, and everybody that works at the restaurant is a uh, impersonator of like, oh, yes. some Hollywood, oh, yeah. Hollywood, yes, Hollywood yes, type, yes. right? There's right. a, oh, you know, wow. it's a Marilyn Monroe, idea, and there's a, there's a, a Buddy Holly, and there's a, mm-hmm. you know, just Elvis. rattle off. Yeah, there's an Elvis <laughs> character, right? So something like that would be perfect there, and why they haven't somehow mm. incorporated something well, like that there, because that's wasn't perfect that how for that area. Brown Derby was initially, it used to have old famous stars that would walk through, they and did, kind of right? Down for a That's little right. bit, and yep. yeah, and so, I didn't know some, that. Somewhere along yeah. the way, that stopped. Yeah, hmm. that was how it was initially. Cost prohibitive. Cost well, I mean, prohibitive. How? I mean, I, I think, think people be... just didn't know who they were. Well, that's the thing. I, I think if yeah. you would have to actually have real, you know, star type characters, not just right. people that are just, "Hi, I'm a 
40s actor hi yeah. let me sit with you like no i'm not interested in that but you know marilyn comes along and you're like yes please sit at my table and talk mm -hmm. so here's the interesting um, thing though when you look at how they're changing hollywood studios now mm -hmm. right. away from just general hollywood stuff yeah. to disney ip mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so they i mean they granted they own just about everything now so <laughs> right they do they could, it's all disney ip now right yeah. but marilyn monroe i don't know if she is those kinds of things and i mm -hmm. think there isn't yeah. that emotional connection yep. to those stars that would Ooh. get people going there would be okay. if they played it off a little bit they could build it up i think yeah i like the idea so, yeah. i just had an idea yep. what if it's something like garden grill where it's a rotating restaurant but take it even a step further where it's really do it really fast no right all no. the food goes flying out the edges you're Sorry. on a boat. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? You're on a boat. Okay. I'm it's with. like I'm living sorry. with the land. Yeah. You're on a boat. But yep. it goes through different screen snapshots of different movies. So you're it's kind like of, great movie ride. Kind oh, of it's bringing back the great ride movie food. ride, and you're but with food. And you're doing, it's like a yeah. river cruise. So. Yeah, there's the spinning part come in. Well, it, it moved. That was nice. Like, <laughs> stop moved. it. So it's, so, you know, it's sit down, it's prefix, it's pretty much your, gotcha. your menus, you know, it mm -hmm. is what it is. It moves slow enough that the wait staff can always walk out of it. I'm sorry, just, I keep picturing things as you say this. I'm not shooting your idea down. Yeah, I you like totally that. are. You're no, I like the idea. I, think, I, I like think the idea. You wouldn't even have to worry about wait staff. You'd get on the boat and all the food would be there already. And yeah, the boat would take off way. and you would just eat. While you're going and you get your drinks and whatever, and there's a little soda machine in the back if you want to fill it up. There you go. And then it goes. But see, so the easy solution to that is we do away with the runaway railway. I said it right. You did. You did. And, and we go back to the great movie ride, but we just had food. <laughs> no. How about you actually make it so that it's not even a ride anymore? It's just the great movie ride, and you walk in and you get a table in one of those specific rooms. So they've done that before. They've done that. They yes. used to do right? that. Mm -hmm. yeah. See. That's what I want. Yeah, I've see, seen that's that cool. advertised when you have a large group, you yep. can yep. rent, you could rent the great movie mm -hmm. ride and you could right. have mm -hmm. dinner in Wizard of Oz. Yep. Like, mm -hmm. oh, see, that would have been so cool. And there's lots of restaurants that are around that, that have that kind of thing, like where you go and you're sitting this part of the restaurants. I, I'm thinking of my all time favorites in Denver, Colorado. It's called Casa Benitas. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> I remember South Park. That's what are you telling me about Casa Bonita? I always think of Cartman. And, oh, yeah, and like, it's like, it's a Mexican restaurant. And you would think it's just like not very good. But it, I, I just have the fondest memories there. You go through a line and you order at the window. Mm -hmm. And they bring it to your table. But there's all these different areas. And one of them is like in the center where there's Acapulco cliff divers. And mm -hmm. there's mariachi bands. Look and there's up. there's all, So it's look almost it like you're YouTube eating in. You Cartman South Park. <laughs> it's, <Okay. laughs> yep. it's almost like you're eating in the um, ride at. Uh, Mexico. Mexico. In Mexico. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So anyway, so there are restaurants like that that are themed, different movies or yeah. different settings, they could easily do something like that. And it'd be, here you are in Coco, and here you are in Moana, oh. here you are, you know, in Arendelle, whatever. That's called Epcot, right? Right, well, yeah. You know. I'm sorry. I, I like that no, idea, I, though. And I think that there's a lot of um, value yeah. to that yeah. proposition, especially if they could build one big building mm -hmm. that shares a kitchen Right. And then has like offshoots, kind of like sci fi with multiple bays. Yeah. And, and it's just, you're just set Did you to. You say a, it serves turkey? <laughs> you're just set to a certain time, right? It's like the boat ride is an hour and 15 minutes. And that's what it is. Like you get mm -hmm. on your boat, you be done eating by the time because we're kicking you off <laughs> when we come back to port. Like right. you take off and you go sail off the, you know, the seven seas and you go see um, something. Like it's like kind of a that, cool idea. I like that idea. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I Thank also you. would love, love, love to see a Monsters Inc. themed restaurant. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot you fun. could do there. Yeah, yep. yeah, Metropolis. I mean, right, because yeah. mm -hmm. think about they had like that. I don't know what it was called, but it was like Benihana's, where they yeah. had food there. Oh, 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 o
Um, oh, Harry Housen. Harry Housen. Yeah. 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 So there's God that. Golly. Talk about useless memory stores. <laughs> wow. He is full of it. He doesn't full remember what I said to him two days ago. I remember right? Harry Housen. He remembers Harry Housen's, which we haven't seen that movie in how long? <clears throat> Kyle knows why I know Harry Housen. <clears throat> why? Hang on, I should you know? know why he knows Harry Housen. You, you know who Harry Housen is. Harry Housen, Harry Housen. Movies. Back in the day, Jason the Argonauts. Ray Harryhausen, who created all those movies, the initial oh yeah like, yeah, all the, yeah. the special effects from Clash yes. of the Titans, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Took a while. That's why it was called Harryhausen's in the film. Mm. Yeah. Okay, it was a. That's, that's why awesome. I know that it was a piece of trivia. That's the only reason I knew it. Anyway, so that could have won free. Now you there. know too, right? Now, you, now everybody knows. Hey, what if exactly. we did monsters? Nobody was either. listening. All right. <laughs> what if we did? <laughs> what is this? This is what the. Oh. together Eric. <laughs> um you could do monsters university and make it like a school dining commons oh yeah you can right? make a really yeah. crappy cafeteria yeah, yeah exactly yeah. but we've great. already got then you that. don't have to change That's anything about abc bond. commissary we've right? got that it's the commissary oh, all you got to do is spray paint it <laughs> yeah right repaint <laughs> it repaint make the commissary into oh, yeah. monsters inc you know food court yeah there you go or you use that one what is that back the backlog backlog express yeah yeah oh is that still there yeah yeah no. Is that where the Darth Vader stuff is? Yeah, like the Darth, Darth Vader, Vader waffles. waffles. Yeah, yeah, it's right next to Star Tours. And do you not Jedi know about waffles. the Darth Vader waffles and chicken? I don't remember. Oh no, no, no! You've eaten that a bunch of times. Yeah, not the back lot. I was thinking the other that was the, back near where yeah. the back lot tour where used to be. Oh, I was no, thinking that's, that that's little what line. I was thinking that's too. Gone, right? At first, yeah. I was thinking the no, same thing. That's long gone. No, I had the chicken. Yeah, I had the chicken waffles at Backlot Express. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot they were Darth Vader waffles, but yes. Yeah. So, I mean, we just need more. And more I think food. we need more <clears throat> character stuff. I do too. I really do. When you start making reservations for clients and you see the lack of character dining, it mm. becomes really obvious. And I know they just added Topolino's, which is great. We really enjoyed that. But that's the classic characters again. They, if they really want to get buy-in to some of these IPs that are, they're building whole areas around, they need a Moana mm -hmm. meet and greet. Not just a meet and greet, but a character meal. Yeah. They need, you know, what else did we talk about? We just talked about them. Oh, Shoot, Monsters what Inc. was that? No, Monster, not Monsters Inc. Uh, not Moana, the one before Moana. Not you Bugs Life, oh. no. I don't no, want to eat with bugs. No, I don't want to eat we with talked bugs. About yeah, we've done Cocoa. The bugs stuff. Oh, yeah. Cocoa. Mm -hmm. Cocoa, yeah. I mean, what they should do is just replace Rizzo's completely. If you want to make it Rizzo's and you want to make it Muppet themed, like mm -hmm. for real, I'm like, all about that. actually theme it right. and have characters. It's such and, a, yeah. like, the fact that they call it Rizzo's and then there's like nothing inside. Well, no, because it's still the same place it was before. Right, it's still Pizza Planet. Right, still Pizza Planet, right, but they, they added like one special room that was. No, but they really... add like they changed the look of it. It's not the arcade yeah. anymore. Right, but they it's like they missed such a huge opportunity there, and it, yep. it, it baffles me every time I go in. Now I feel like they could change Mama Melrose's into something different because no. where does that fit now? No, like, no, I don't what know. IP belongs to Mama Mel? I mean, well, it's the Muppets. It's a New York Italian, that's, you know. That's a that's a Hollywood thing because they've got all the posters on the walls and the. You right. Know, the, yeah, but that's that why stuff. we don't need that's that. Really that's why we don't need is. that now. Yeah. We could change that to something else. So as the food's the same. You keep the food, but change the, the theming. The food is not that great. I like yeah, it. it's I mean, not it's good. okay. It's okay, but I mean, really think Sorry. about it. It's not. It's not. There's no place unless you go over to Tutoria Alfarno, Alforno, or somewhere <laughs> like that to get yummy Italian. Why don't I want yummy Italian? I, I want made American my Italian. own fresh pasta. <laughs> Christy? You did? Well, yes, I made keeping fettuccine it real. Keeping it, keeping by it hand. Up. Real American. Yes. One of the things I got for Christmas was an attachment to my KitchenAid mixer, mm -hmm. and it rolls the pasta out, and then it cuts it. So I got a spaghetti cutter and good. fettuccine. She did a wonderful job for her inaugural That's great. foray into mm -hmm. homemade pasta. It was so good. The girls ate it with just butter. And it was wow. good. Yeah. See, how much anyway. can you make it once? Could you, as much you as make you a want, bunch? As much as you can stand. Yeah. As big of a mess as you want to make. Because right. we were slipping and sliding in the kitchen floor. Yeah. Flour. The dog yeah. was slipping and sliding. <laughs> she slips awesome. and slides anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's not cool. the new 
anyway, sorry. Again. Yeah. Again. Yeah. I mean, there's so much I'm thinking about just food wise there. There's so much missing. I don't think you're going to see much character, di- additional character dining, even with, see, even outside of the classical Disney characters, like right? the Fab Five, because that's, I think Disney knows that's a supply and demand kind of thing. And mm-hmm. they're going to keep that constrained. But I feel like they're, I feel like they are really leaving money on the table by not doing it because yeah, be, think about this. Yeah. Listen to me. Listen okay, to I'm me. Listening. Linda, listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> they, they charge out the yin yang for like mediocre food, cheap, mediocre food. You're making my point for me. But for go ahead. In the character meals. Mm-hmm. So yes. why would they not add more of that? Because that did your your point, I don't. I invalidated there's a, there's it. A tipping point, you know. No it's a supply and demand. Well, Hello, and they're, Mister. They're starting- we book dining reservations for clients. We know they want to see more than Winnie the Pooh and the classic characters. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, what it seems, seems what it seems like they're doing is they're starting to, cre- to create more high end restaurants and yeah. less right. of the low end restaurants. Exactly. So, so they're charging even more than they would charge for a character dining with crappy food, yep. they're actually charging higher prices, but with really good food. Your um, so, overhead for food yeah. is a lot you know, lower than it is for HR. Lower than, yeah, right. but think of yeah. it this way. Imagine, they have those. Human resources is expensive. Yeah. <laughs> they got those people though. You cannot make me believe they don't, ha- they, they had a Moana meet and greet. They got, they got a Moana. They've got a, a Maui. Yeah. Well, think about our clients just for a second. Can you imagine right? what the HR cost is for a demigod? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, right? I mean, you save money on insurance, but all the other damage right. that's going to happen button, is yeah. just going exactly. to be, be a problem. But what I was saying, for making mad. Bonuses alone would kill you. Right? I get asked Walking all around the time. with just a little like grass skirt on. I mean, there's, there's a whole HR problem there, right? <laughs> I get asked. As Tarzan did it. Sorry, Christine. <laughs> I get asked all the time, and I know you do too, mm-hmm. about things that are not princess or yes. not preschool. So like right. Winnie the Pooh and, you know, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Think about having a restaurant. Everybody that loves is, Winnie the Pooh. Think of no. having a restaurant that's Pirates of the Caribbean. Right. Themed, right. So you have like pirates there. And maybe you have in the morning, you have Peter Pan and Wendy and Captain Hook. Mm-hmm and Smee, but the rest of the time you have just like a dirty pirate place. Yeah. Not that it's dirty. (laughs) It's very similar. I don't want dirty food. I mean... You guys wreck pirate walking around. Hey, hey, hey. It was just right. a dirty pirate place. Are you having rum? That's, uh, right? that's, that's Trader Sam's. It's a dirty, dirty pirate place. Yeah. Yeah. Filthy pirates. The, um, in, in Europe, at Disneyland oh. Paris, the restaurant that we ate at overlooked pirates of the caribbean right it did and so it was very much themed as if you were on the sides of pirates of the caribbean and um they could have easily had a pirate or two walking around that would have been well the waiter the wait staff wore were pirates were dressed as yeah as, mm-hmm. as scallywags yeah yeah that'd be perfect exactly it- in Disneyland, they have Blue Bayou, which is very similar. It's the beginning of Pirates of the Caribbean mm-hmm. there. Okay. Yeah. But, um, all right. Well, Disney, if you're listening. No, I, I apologize. <laughs> we ahead. really want a dirty pirate restaurant. <laughs> right. <laughs> and a restaurant where we can ride boats and eat at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Something like Casa Bonita would they, be wonderful. Oh, yeah. I would love Casa Bonita. Goofy jumping off a cliff. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yes. But I was, yep, that would work. You know, if they did do the whole riverboat thing, ride through the movies and stuff like that, they could totally pimp Adventures by Disney River Cruises. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Make it look like the Ama Viola. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm too surprised they don't do that on the Mark Twain. That would make they sense, wouldn't it? a Sunday party on the, on the Mark Twain. No, I mean to pimp out Adventures by Disney on it. That yeah. would actually make quite a lot of sense. It's kind of short, but yeah. yeah. Well, mm-hmm. Put little pamphlets next to the, yeah. as you get off and on. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. If you like this, if imagine anything. a whole week of it. Imagine a whole week of being board. on a paddle boat. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> they have those. Imagine the mosquitoes and the alligators. <laughs> the, and the chug cruise. of the boat. Right? American cruisers. twenty four seven. All right, everybody. So if... That's going to do it for us for this week. Oh, thank God. Thank you. You can find us on all the social channels 
And of course on YouTube, if you're listening to us on your favorite podcast, uh, know that you can watch us too. Yeah. You can watch us too. Which which I don't know. Sometimes it's funny. Sometimes it's fun. Other times it's oof. Last week was the bomb. Eric made a special one last week. And we're on who is as well. Yeah. Well, it, you won't get much, but we're there. <laughs> we're on who is. Yeah. Are we on who working? Who is, who working, who was. All right, who everybody. Is, who was, who will be. Have what a great night. Good night. Safe, <laughs> safe travels, everyone. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Rain wreck our off. <laughs> We all know vacation planning is stressful and time consuming. Let the expert vacation planners at Mickey Guru Travel Company handle the details and find you the best deal possible, all at no extra cost to you. Whether your vacation dreams are made of roller coasters and princesses or sailing on the open seas, they will help create a magical experience you'll remember forever. To learn more about Mickey Guru and how they can help you save time and money, visit them at mickeyguru.com.